talk about the uh, the uh, the weather here, not only you know for here, but also out west in Arizona. Yeah, well, in Arizona, it's going to be absolutely fabulous, yeah. especially since temperatures there are in the 60s. That's where the heat is, right? But it turned out to be a lot hotter. That's right. Uh, Corey McCloskey ended up with extreme temps on his weather map when his computer malfunctioned. This is a TV blooper. Check out how he handled being in the hot seat. Watch. Well, we don't have it, so we're going to go ahead and talk to we we're going to talk to you about our weather first. I think I made my own blooper there because I think right. I was supposed to wait. So we'll we're going to have that. Corey's forecast in just a second, and it's a hot forecast you sure don't want to miss. Yeah. I think people here in Central Indiana <laughs> definitely want a little bit of a cooler forecast than what he had on his map. Outside right now, have a little bit of drizzle out there. At this point, we are going to see drizzly conditions turn to a chance of flurries. 34 degrees is where we're at. Winds out of the west at about 24 miles per hour. It feels like 22 with the wind chill. This light drizzle it's going to stick with us for the rest of the afternoon under the cloudy skies. Wind gusts also a big issue, gusting up to 40 miles per hour in Muncie, Crawfordsville 34 miles per hour. Even at the airport we've had 36 mile per hour wind gusts. Latest satellite radar at this point, we do have the cloudy skies in place. There's that little drizzle and we will continue to see this as we go through the afternoon. So it's not going to be an all day rain, but you can see it is just not a very pretty afternoon. From downtown Indianapolis, we go to Greene County and Bloomfield. Same story where we have the cloudy skies that are in place. Temperatures 36 degrees in Kokomo, 34 in Lafayette, 42 in Greensburg, 37 in Bloomington, 45 in Columbus, and 47 in Seymour. Little systems moving through that's bringing us some cooler air, and as that happens, well, temperatures will fall through the afternoon. We hit our high at 10 a.m., 44 degrees. From there, we're going down. Wind chills are pretty much going to stay the same. Feels like 22 in Indy, 28 in Bloomington, 29 in Muncie, and 25 degrees in Kokomo. As we go into the afternoon, those temperatures try to hold steady, but they'll eventually fall as we go towards 5 o'clock. Those winds, these are sustained winds out of the west northwest, 19 miles per hour. We'll see those gusts continue up to about 30 miles per hour later today. As we see temperatures fall, a few snow flurries may start to mix in. At this point, we're not looking for any snow accumulation. As we head into the overnight, we're going to see those winds out of the northwest. I think some lake effect snow showers will start to develop. And under a band, especially in north central Indiana, we could have a few spots that pick up a dusting. Most spots just see flurries as we have that low down to 22 degrees tonight. We'll see those flurries at 8 o'clock by noon, 25, and by 4 o'clock, sunshine and 27 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. But this isn't warm. Our normal high this time of year is right around 36 degrees. This is future track 13 for tomorrow. See that lake effect snow? Very few communities are going to be impacted, but still, those clouds are going to be hanging around in a big way where that lake effect snow band sets up. We're talking weekend snow for central Indiana. Saturday's dry with highs in the 30s. Saturday night snow develops. Snow is likely on Super Bowl Sunday. An early accumulation estimate, three to five inches of snow. Keep in mind that is subject to change as we continue to analyze the new data coming in. This is future track 13. Notice how there's a little bit of rain there. If that lifts to the north more, it's going to cut down some totals. So watching this is going to be extremely important as we head through 5 o'clock Sunday morning. And then we have a chance of that snow as we head through your Sunday night into Monday morning. You see that in the seven-day forecast as we eventually top out at 32 on Sunday. Monday, that snow ends early. And how about where we go on Tuesday and Wednesday? Temperatures will be in the 20s. But that's nothing like this meteorologist in Phoenix <laughs> had to deal with. Corey McCloskey, yeah, talk about being in the hot seat. Temperatures in the 20s sound good compared to what some cities there had forecast. Yeah, watch what happened.